This video is brought to you by TS4U IT Engineering Bootcamp. Are you looking for an IT bootcamp? In your journey with TS4U, you will get workshops and tasks every week. Hands-on practice, technical tests and tasks, show and tell, mock interview. And we get paid fully only when you get a job. You can get affordable student loan. Become eligible for free tuition. We offer industry demanding IT boot camps. Join now and start your IT engineering journey today with TS4U. Uh, what does quality mean to you? How do you ensure quality in your work? Well, the, the quality means in general, um, I think it's not only me, it is for the entire software development team. Um, the, I, um, the, we are given the responsibility to build application that business will be supporting our client. So in this case, quality is actually for everybody. So quality for, my, for me, quality means I ensure I understand the requirements very well. And I ensure that I ask the question during the planning meeting. I actually the, the set up the meeting with the product owner to go over the user story that will be actually planned in the planning meeting. And I actually make sure I ask the questions if I do not understand the question. And then the product owner, we all ask the question during the planning meeting because sometimes the product owner do not answer, understand everything because some of the question is pretty technical. So we, we ask the question, the, the, the solution architect or the developer, how this works. So for me, quality means the make sure I understand that my initial, the, the, the requirement analysis is very thoroughly. I take the notes. And the based on my understanding, I actually provide very good amount of like the estimation. And based on estimation, I understood now, I prepare my test data. I prepare my test cases uh, to follow the, our internal template. I review my test cases with my, with our, the internal, to follow the internal process and the procedure. And then I, I join the technical review meeting once a developer complete the, the coding. And then based on this, I actually uh, asked the question to developer, okay, how this works and the go over the code, even though I do not understand all the code review, but I actually understand the logic, how it works. Once the, the, the DevOps engineer deploy the code and the, uh, sometimes the, we get the, the notification, automated notification, sometimes the product will actually give the heads up, hey, the code has been released. Um, the QA team can step up and you guys can complete the testing. So we have our group chat, the, our chat, and then actually and the, we communicate all the details. If any of the bug I found, we have the internal QA group chat, we communicate internally, hey, I found this bug, it is not working as expected. And then um, do you guys have these issues? Once our internal team is well in our internal group chat, then I raise the concern initially in the, in the actually the development group chat. So development group chat, some of the uh, details with the screenshot, what I'm expecting, what I actually got it. And the once somebody actually responds, most of the time developers say, yes, it seems like something is not working. At this moment, we got some acknowledgement, I create the bug. So basically I'm telling you the entire journey, but this journey actually helped me to actually, that's where I see the quality is. I'm very thoroughly, my step by step, I execute my test cases. Basically, actually I execute, execute my peer test cases and my peer execute my test cases. That's also another way we ensure our test execution quality. That's kind of the best practice we follow. Um, that's our internal process.